The algorithm does not hate you. It is simply a tool to make money. It's a game of chess and I know how it feels to win. I also know what it feels to lose everything. Late nights, endless videos, and painful headaches. The journey of YouTube success can be depressing, but in the chaos, a game-changing truth is hidden, waiting to be unlocked by you. In this video, I'm gonna give you three exercises that will help you discover your niche on YouTube once and for all. And at the end of the video, I'll even add one more tip just to be nice. When it comes to finding your niche, it's all about self-reflection. Take some time to think about your passions, your interests, and your unique talents. What makes you stand out from the crowd? Remember, authenticity is key on YouTube and choosing a niche that genuinely excites you reflects in your work. Think about this and make sure that it aligns with your long-term goals. The first exercise is called free writing, but I added a twist. Set a timer for one minute and quickly write without worrying about grammar or structure. Let your thoughts flow freely onto the paper or screen. Explore different topics, ideas, and passions that come to mind. This exercise is meant to unlock your subconscious and the pressure of time can actually reveal unexpected niche possibilities. Now, the second time you free write, set a timer for five minutes. Let your mind wander again and see the possibilities you can come up with now that you have more time. When you're done, compare and contrast and look at all the differences that pop up. I can't tell you why you wrote the things you did, but this exercise will help you reveal things you probably didn't even know about yourself. This is called self-reflection. Now, I don't really like writing as much, so the first exercise really didn't do it for me because my learning style is more of a vocal type. I like to speak things out. That's why this next exercise actually helped me out the most and I got an epiphany and maybe it'll help you out as well. The second exercise is called the I am exercise and it goes something like this. First, find an empty room where you can sit and close your eyes. You can even blindfold yourself. Now, start by saying, I am great at X. For example, I am great at editing. I am great at riding a bike. I am not great at acting, etc. Do this for one minute and also do this again for five minutes. Record yourself while you do this. Once you're done with both sessions, review the recordings and again, self-reflect. Now, I'm not the type to really do exercises like this, but when I first did this, I immediately realized what I like to do and potential niches I could probably get into. So try this out as much as you want and you might discover something new about yourself, like I did. The third exercise is called building an avatar. Write down an avatar or basically a character of what the perfect viewer would look like for your channel. Ask yourself questions like, how old are they? Where do they work? What are they looking for? This will help you figure out what your perfect viewers will like and by default, what you would like to show them on YouTube. By the way, if you liked the video so far and it's been helpful, make sure to hit that like button up to show support and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Let's get back into it. Believe it or not, after I made my characters or my avatars, I learned so much about the viewers and potential ideas for the future. Take a look at what my characters look like in one paragraph and just a glimpse of their lives. You can go deeper on this than what I did, but yeah, I can already see this benefiting me in the future. Just be open-minded and at least try these ideas out. Trust me, you have nothing to lose. As promised, I do have one more tip for you guys and it's this. Don't depend solely on search traffic videos like the how-to videos. Don't do that too much because they're very, very saturated and competitive. If you do this, YouTube will only direct search-based traffic to your channel. If you guys don't know what those terms mean and how it can affect your views, then you probably didn't watch my last video, which is all about the history of YouTube, the algorithm, search versus browse and recommended. And that means now is a good chance for you to check that video out right here. Peace.